So we asked a handful of our classmates and some teachers three questions. What is the kingdom of God? Where is it found and how is it experienced? Our answers are, the answers were varied, but the common ground was that everyone experienced the kingdom of God in others. So what is the kingdom of God? Where is it found and how is it experienced? The kingdom of God, okay. We kind of first start hearing about this when Jesus shows up on the scene in the Gospels. He keeps proclaiming the kingdom of God is at hand. What he's talking about is he's talking about God's authority and that all of the things that God wants to accomplish are about to be made real. I guess the kingdom of God is um, it's the church, I guess I would say. Uh, found, I don't even think it's in like a building. It's more in the poor and the people who are the lowest of the low. The kingdom of God is um, a higher reach that we can't, we cannot physically experience it here or have a concept of what it is, but it's something greater that all human beings share and strive to. Um, the kingdom of God is basically people and the whole earth and everything that we do and create. And while it's found everywhere, like on heaven, in heaven and on earth, and it's found in every person. And I think it's experience once we open our hearts to it. Because it's available to us always, but people aren't always like open to receiving it and being a part of it. So once we take that jump and like once we part of it. So where is it found? It's wherever God is. Wherever God is, and God is everywhere, and he's in no particular place. It's not like, oh God's right there. He's right there. No. He, well, he is there, but he's not there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a state of being, it's not a location. There's no GPS coordinates for where God is, because um, he's everywhere. St. Augustine said that um, with everything else we eat, it dissolves and becomes part of us. So that what the Eucharist is, is God says, now you become part of God. Because that host dissolves in our mouth, and we, we receive Jesus Christ in the bread of life. We become more and more God. We become part of him, welcomed into his community, into his kingdom, into his Wow. You go and serve in soup kitchens or stuff like that and serve the most needy that you find God the most, uh, like Mother Teresa said. Okay, so the kingdom of God, I think, is found in every human being through kindness and loving with each other. And um, it can be experienced in the same way as through, like, shown love. What is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is perfect, perfect union with God. It's being free of all the um, burdens and crosses that you carry throughout your life so that you can um, kind of like Lazarus nestle in the bosom of God. Um, it takes, how do you get there? It takes a lot of suffering. It's not to bring the kingdom of God to earth and spread God's love to those around, around us. The kingdom of God is the satisfaction of the desire on earth that can only be fulfilled by God. To find this kingdom, we must first seek his son, who will ensure us true happiness of heaven. He is waiting for us to join him in his kingdom. Just as St. John Paul II said, It is Jesus that you seek when you dream of happiness. He is waiting for you when nothing else you find satisfies you. Yeah. Mm -hmm.